what is good ladies and gentlemen so for today we are back at it again with another draw with me if you are an artist or just the person who likes to draw anime characters and stuff like that feel free to stop along and uh you know create with me grab some paper you know grab a laptop any digital device you can use and uh see what you can create comment down below what latest thing you're working on i'd love to see some of the comments and i'm trying to stay interactive with you guys in the uh support like type of community type of deal overall uh right now i'm recording it's like 12 o'clock at night i am just trying to get another video out there to stay on schedule with just staying consistent with the type of art that i'm doing for today's art though interesting enough we are doing another cyberpunk piece of the lucy yes our lovely lully with the shotgun lucy everybody loves her a lot of people hate her for her you know body features and stuff like that but overall in terms of the video game itself cyberpunk i'd love to talk about that for a minute for you guys overall when it first dropped cyberpunk what the hell can i say about that man oh man um yeah it was a rough start even on console now pc you guys know me my pc i got a standard like hp pavilion pre-built off amazon the shit costs like 800 900 dollars on its best day but for me playing it on the console even at day one it had bugs it had problems i was glitching through the map the game would crash a lot of the times some of the assets i couldn't even fucking touch pick up reach characters were like glitching out of certain areas and just it was just a shit show overall for just video gamers in general cyberpunk in terms of a video game is really awesome <clears throat> excuse me indigestion <clears throat> cyberpunk is really awesome in terms of a tabletop game in terms of the DD status it holds it provides but i fear that it is going to be stuck in that realm to where first off you know cd project red has not you know given any light to just you know an expansion or continuing the cyberpunk series in a way that's going to keep the server and like well not servers but keep the game updated for years to come they're going to basically scrap the project to where it is at now for the 2.0 update and you know they'll wait a few years and make another cyberpunk game under the title name quote unquote orion I've been keeping up with the cyberpunk news because the game, I had big ass hopes for it. I thought it was going to be a little mixture of Grand Theft Auto meets like just Deus Ex Machina type of vibes. And somewhat it lives up to that hype. The city is huge as shit. The story is very compelling. The endings are very breathtaking and moving. Some of the characters are flat as a fucking cardboard box. But overall if you are getting into it as a fps or first person shooter you are going to love the dynamics of the game the, the the endless bounty of fighting and shit you can pick up if you are really into just storing and just being you know a fucking rat in video games me i'm a gremlin it's like if i am getting a first person shooter game i i gotta get all the guns i gotta get the best shit out there that i can equip or relate to real life stuff like call of duty or tom clancy or hell saints Row games really impacted me in my uh early years in terms of video game stuff like now and i'm trying to stay up with the current pop culture of video games um I, god i sound like i'm old as shit but i'm really not i'm in my mid-20s right now and it's just funny enough when you look at all the stuff that people told people they could not do in terms of like content creation or like paying or living off of video games is something that i try to keep people to you know stay inspired by excuse me that indigestion is whooping my ass with this recording um man i literally got done eating but besides that the video games you know that really molded people and really had a positive impact on people shows and just proves that you can really do anything you want to do in terms of a creative outlet and make it a proper functioning career you know yeah even if you just want it to be your job whatever status you 
claim to it uh as long as you really are moved by it and you really like enjoy what you are doing you can really just have that change your life and it's an inspiring thing as an artist for me and a lot of you guys who uh you know are inspired by the works that i do whether it be the sexy art or mainly the stick fight animation stuff um it's very inspiring to show and to know that you know just doing something you like can push others to do the shit that they enjoy doing i try to show that on my tiktok and my social media uh mainly through tiktok a lot seeing as that app has so much more viewership than the social medias like this and youtube youtube really gotta just be on your p's and q's and hope that your video gets enough viewership you know even though we're sitting at a thousand um it's very hard to get a thousand viewers on a video <laughs> but i'm not mad at it we gotta just stay up with the stuff that we like to do try not to let this algorithm whoop our ass and you know fuck with us mentally um but yeah if you are an artist and you're aspiring to just you know create definitely try stuff that you enjoy more often and then try to challenge yourself after you do the things that you enjoy you don't want to stay stagnant in life or just in any position that you want to be in um and it's very hard to get up every day and stay consistent to have a routine i'm struggling myself with having a routine nowadays but um if i take it just one step at a time one day at a time and just post shit that i know that okay this is fun this is nice this is dope let me post it and then try to work on the business end on the back burner like try to get commissions try to be freelance and all that other stuff it'll slowly emerge from me but you don't want to be lazy either you don't want to overburn yourself pace yourself give yourself a planned out schedule uh see if you can stick to it and then take breaks when needed and then eventually you know profits and all that other stuff that you want will show from that um for me i have the first witness to show that thank god you know with the tiktok account it's been good it hasn't been banned for any bullshit yet it was banned but uh i really got that wrapped up beforehand overall i just want to say thank you guys for popping out to the stream uh cyberpunk is one hell of a game for me and even the edge runner series for netflix which i really wish netflix would give us more seasons give us different stories give it different characters really go into the city on why it's like one of the worst cities to be in and why you know no one in night city makes it out alive type of deal that's the status quo of that game and um man they have so much to offer the video game community the anime community just you know people who love cartoons and television and entertainment and i really wish they won't drop the ball on this like they did the first update for the video game so for this one we have rebecca looking fine as shit you know how we do it i got the pistol got the little bikini set on that she has and i even threw in some nice little neon glowing high tops just to suit her vibe i feel like she would be or i believe she probably was a mox or like you know one of the you know dolls and she just went on to being more so like a uh street cyberpunk type of deal person and i hate that she got killed off so soon she had so much potential to be better cause more chaos and that's why every time if you are playing cyberpunk when you meet when you meet Smasher, beat his ass. I call on every cyberpunk fan, murder this man, burn him to the ground, incinerate that robotic son of a bitch in the name of Rebecca and the cyberpunk crew. RIP to David. Other than that, guys, have a blessed one today. Uh, I'm gonna pop out, grab me some weed, talk to my girlfriend, shit like that. You guys have a blessed one, stay safe. Peace.